what would you kneel for? Assume the posture of casual prayer, a genuflection while levitating, buoyed by the neck of a man you are actively robbing of air, armed robbery of breath over some bread, and the wide genocidal breadth of our country's racial timeline, our country's daily bread, our injurious history written in lightning, the animating factors that authorize violence. Give us this day a shot at peace. Breath is a piece that considers American promise and American history written by two people who um, have um, an extraordinary relationship with American possibility. It is musically versatile and elastic, and it is uh, topically um, both acute and expansive in thinking about how one tragic moment that happened in this city, in Minneapolis, Minnesota, was a flashpoint for several historical pathologies that have um, marginalized um, certainly the black community, but, um, but have, have marginalized multiple communities. Seeing the piece Breath performed in a workshop recording, it was surreal. As a composer, I put so much work into the piece and it's an emotional piece. Uh, I came into this reading, to this workshop, and with wanting to uh, leave the feelings at the door because I wanted to be present as much as possible for all the, the technical things that may have come up. As hard as it was to cut off the emotions, but I, I did find myself like, oh my God, this is happening after such a long time. And, it, and it's amazing. It's surreal. Like just to hear the sound of the orchestra playing together and their notes that I writ, wrote is just incredible. And um, it just gave me a great sense of gratitude. Telling this story, telling this narrative Musically speaking, it, 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 it gives us, hopefully, a, a, a sense of empathy uh, for, you know, uh, what's been happening in our world. Uh, what Mark has brought to the table, what Bamuthi has brought to the table as far as, you know, spoken word, uh, really gives the piece life. Um, the, the titling of the piece is very intentional and names the kind of the thematic vectors of the piece bread, breath, and breadth, the expanse of the promise, the breadth of the task, bread. You know, there's a line, God bless American bread and the hands that made it. May we feast on the bread that bought us one more day to try to get it right. And then breath, as in the breath of life. It's a work that yearns and Audiences will join us not only in the remembering and the revelation, but in the yearning to be better. I'm Shakela Wanyama, and I'm a singer with the Minnesota Chorale, and I'm assisting with the chorus preparation for breath. I'm also writing my thesis on breath and have the opportunity to write the program note for it as well. I would describe this piece as an orchestral piece for spoken word artists with choir. The spoken word, I think the, the text really stands front and center for this piece, and so it's a piece that is derived from the text itself and the performance of the text. And the, the times we do sing are either emphasizing something that Mark Bamuthi will be speaking or reaffirming a message or shaping a question. For me, as I look at the score, I almost feel that the choir is acting as a conscience, a voice of conscience in the piece, not judging right or wrong, but really grappling with what, what, does, what does this all mean and what is the role of a community. So I've lived in Minneapolis for most of my life and I'm really proud to be from here. Um, and I'm always a little curious, what do people experience when they come to Minneapolis? The impression I came away from those conversations with was how important it was for them to be able to speak to uh, local 
artists and local activists here and to sort of start to get a more full picture of um, not just um, George Floyd's murder, but also the context in which that happened locally. So um, learning more about uh, the history of African Americans in the Twin Cities, learning more about the community around 38th Street and Chicago Avenue. It felt so uplifting and affirming in a way that I hadn't expected. I think it's because we are in a time where it's hard to tell on a big scale if Minneapolis has changed after all of this. The experiences of the neighbors in that community reflected in the music was just stunning. In the artist statement, um, Carlos Simon and Mark Bamuti Joseph refer to the Minnesota Orchestra as a, a citizen institution and I, I think that to me is very promising because it, it means that we can be a field that acknowledges the world around us and also um, thereby creates more space for all of us as individuals. It's really exciting to me to see that music has that power. <laughs>